Hello everyone, today's topic is about machine design. I'll upload videos on each chapter every week. For now, we're gonna have a basic introduction for this course. So let's start by defining the title machine design. What is machine? Machine is a combination of links, elements, and mechanism, which are used to transform some form of energy to the mechanical energy, or it receives the mechanical energy power from other sources. Elements uh, such as bolts, bearings, shafts, gears, springs. A machine should be safe, reliable, create motion, develop forces, avoid failure on the short term as much as we can. So in order for the machine to have these characteristics, it should be designed well. Now design is the creation of things by proper planning, construction and analysis to perform a particular task or fulfill particular object. While designing, we should take into consideration the safety factor, which is the maximum stress that a machine can handle over the allowable stress that we shouldn't exceed. Designers determine the allowable stress, and the more difference between allowable stress and ultimate stress, the higher safety factor we get. Of course, safety factor should be greater than one, and it differs from machine to another. This curve here represents fatigue strength and endurance limit. SU is the ultimate strength of the material. SF is the fatigue strength. Now, uh, fatigue strength SF decreases steadily on log scale with increased number of cycles. Until reaching a plateau about 10 power 6 cycle, here we have 10 power 6. This plateau in fatigue strength exists only for certain materials, such as steel, titanium alloys, uh, and it is called due endurance limit, SE. Of course, this curve is different from uh, for every material. For example, here is a curve for steel and aluminium. The blue line is the fracture line of the steel, and the red line is the fracture line of the aluminium. Here is a method to determine ultimate strength. Hardness is indicated by a number followed by letter H with a letter to define the method used. The method used here is Brinnell. Brinnell hardness number provides a very convenient way to quickly estimate the ultimate tensile strength of the material. Now here are three types of heat treatments. Each one is used for specific purposes. For example, quenching is heating the material above the, a critical temperature then suddenly cool to the room temperature by immersing it in water or oil bath. But this method, uh, the, in this using this method, the material becomes hard but brittle. As you see here, when while using quenching method, the material, the fracture uh, stress increases, but it becomes brittle. Tempering is uh, reheating uh, this part to a lower temperature than cooled down slowly. Using this method reduces the strength and restores some ductility, as it noticed on the graph. Annealing is reheating this part above the critical temperature and allowing it to cool slowly. Here we have to know very well the difference between brittle and ductile materials. Check my video, brittle versus ductile materials. Some parts are difficult to obtain uniform hardness, so hardening is done only on the surface, such as cams, gears, and large machine parts. Forging is used in highly stressed parts, where the part is heated above the critical temperature and uh, is applied to a high impact force. Extrusion is used mainly in uh, aluminium, where they form this shape and other shapes, of course. And uh, 
this method is used. Now here are some materials. We should know their characteristics in order to know where they can be used. For example, alloy steels. Uh, by the way, there is a steel numbering system where the first digit indicates principal alloying elements and the last two digits uh, indicate the amount of the carbon expressed in hundredths of percent. Example here, AISI 1020. First digit indicates uh, this is a plain uh, carbon steel. The second digit, uh, it means there are, there are no alloying elements. Last two digits, 20, indicates that the steel contains approximately 0.2% carbon. AISI is a, a designation way for steels. Similarly, aluminium. But we have to know that uh, the characteristics of aluminium or the main character, characteristics of aluminium is uh, its low density and good strength ductility. Similarly for titanium, for example, its advantage is uh, uh, titanium can handle high temperature and copper alloy, of course, brasses. Okay, that's all for the introduction. Wait my other videos. Uh, the next video is going to be about uh, strain and uh, stress deformations.